Hey, it worked. Shaking all of my homies. All of my homies. I don't think I have to say homies and homets because homies encompasses all genders. You feel me? Um, it's kind of like saying they. Just kind of covers everybody. So, homies, <clears throat> how are things? This is, uh, well, we've got some construction work going on. The neighbors, they're building a porch. I was really hoping they were going to be done by now, but, uh, doesn't look like it. It's 4.48 p.m. Central Standard Time now. No longer daylight, so it's standard time. Uh, this is a good time for me to make a video because the sun sets technically the, the technical that the, the time for sunset for me is like 517 but I have a tree line back there that the Sun kind of gets behind before then so just for my own filming knowledge uh, I'm speaking to myself now dude uh, try to get outside between 440 and 5.30 at the absolute latest to record a video. So now that I've told myself that, I should be fine. <laughs> okay, so let's get right into it. YouTube has uh, apparently <clears throat> kicked in a new music, background music sharing policy. Um... The way it's worked for all these years, I've been uploading videos since 2015, is you select an artist or a song, and you go to a section in the video creator part of YouTube. Uh, you t put in the artist name or the name of the exact song that you're looking for, and you hit enter, and it does a search, and it will pull up the song that you're looking for, and in that box, it will say, either this song cannot be used for any reason at all your video will be blocked worldwide or it'll say if you use this song your video will be blocked in 244 countries of those 244 the United States are always included or it will say your video if you use this music your video will be viewable worldwide however ads may appear and you cannot monetize this video ever which that's usually and then there's another warning or another thing it'll tell you um, your video your video is viewable worldwide and it may be eligible for profit sharing or some kind of sharing I don't know I don't care. I don't get enough views. The, the most viewed video on my channel has 10 million views, but it's not a video of me. It's a clip of a movie that I actually got permission to use. And man, I hope I can find it. Um, I just had to agree that I could never monetize or make one penny, which I, I never do. I don't do this to make any money. So I know a lot of YouTubers piss and moan about not being able to monetize. I don't fucking care, man. I don't have enough subscribers. Um, I have like 29,700 or something right now. But that's not enough. People are so confused about how much money is being made on YouTube. And I'm here to tell you, not much. I know personally, oh good, a skill saw. My most favorite item in the world. Um, I, I personally know some YouTubers that have over a million subscribers. And they don't make much. You just don't, man. It's not a great way to make money. Now, if you have 10 million subscribers, then yeah, you start getting ads. You get this video was sponsored by Head and Shoulders, whatever. And that's not even guaranteed money. That might just be they'll give you their product for free if you mention it in your video. That's really fucking annoying it's five o'clock dude it's time to shut it down okay and you had to pick this time of the day to use the noisiest mother fucking tool you own thank you thank you porch builders I really fucking appreciate it you ass okay 
So, here's what's going on. All of the music that I use, I always check the policies. And if it says, viewable worldwide, you just can't monetize, then it's safe to use. I've uploaded in the neighborhood of 800 videos since 2015. Of that 800, I'd say 97% of them have music that does not belong to me. None of the music belongs to me. Some of my earlier videos have no music. Those are safe forever. But the ones where I have music, even though at the time that I created the video and uploaded it to my channel, the sharing policies were acceptable in the form of viewable worldwide, can't monetize, whatever, whatever. Now that they are changing their policies midstream, I could very, very easily have every one of my videos that I've ever uploaded with two blips of music playing in the background, regardless of how loud or how clear it is. Those videos, for the duration of that song, will be blocked or muted. That's fucking great, isn't it? Um, almost as annoying as that guy using that nail gun, but but not not quite. Almost. Getting there, though. So, this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm not going to do it in this video, but in my next one, I will, I will give a tutorial. Very, very easy to follow instructions on how to download movies from YouTube. So my recommendation is going to be, if there are videos from me that you rewatch or that you really like a lot for whatever reason, entertainment or they're helpful or they're, they help you meditate or just feel better about life or whatever, for whatever reason, it's not important, I will give you step-by-step -step instructions and the exact program that I use to download videos to my computer. And this program can be used on any laptop or desktop doesn't matter it's free there's a paid version that I use that's just a little bit faster but there's no reason to pay for this program it, it works just fine without paying for it so <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little how-to video on that um but look th there is nothing I can do because apparently in the fine print in all of the copyright policies for every piece of music on YouTube it says the owner of this music reserves the right to change their sharing policies at any time so apparently with that little fucking sentence I have no defense I can't counter with but it was okay when I used it well you know what it's not okay now so tough shit buddy I don't know what the fuck. So here's what happened. So I, an artist that I routinely use because they have very flexible sharing policies. For example, Foo Fighters have always been great with sharing their music. Um, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers have been great. Stevie Ray Vaughan. To some degree, Michael Jackson. Prince even early on, but not now. Sia, you can use her music. I put in, and Pearl Jam, oddly enough, been very friendly sharing their music. Um, the, 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 the problem here, so I, I pick songs that I've recently used in videos that were okay uh, a week ago, and the message that comes up when I pull up that song is blocked in 244 countries. If you use this song and it's detected, your video will be blocked <clears throat> or that section of your video will be muted where they, where they identify the timestamps of where that song is being played. And there ain't jack shit I can do about it, y'all. I don't, I mean, I have some of the raw video footage of all of the videos that I make on a hard, hard drive somewhere, but am I really going to go back? and recreate those videos with different music or or no music at all no I don't think so so from a content creators 
standpoint, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Um, uh, for this video, I'm just not going to use any music because I'm afraid to. So, and I really want this video to not be blocked because it's got important information, I think. So, uh, there are, there are a lot of channels on YouTube that offer, um, completely free of copyright restriction music. And it's just random music that people make with synthesizers or computers or fucking whatever. Um, but they're completely safe. Like, I don't even know that they know who the artist is, to be honest. So, in that regard, I, I will still be able to add a little bit of background music. It won't have the same impact as playing a song that I really like or a really cool cover by somebody. Th those days are, are soon to be completely fucking over with. Um, and to be honest, if an artist is not going to let me use two seconds of their song to share with people about how awesome the song is, then I'm not going to take the time to even mention it. I will never mention another song in any of my videos for the rest of time. Every artist that has agreed to this new policy can go fuck themselves, as far as I'm concerned. Every single one of them. It's really leaving a foul taste in my mouth. I don't, I don't understand why this sudden change. I mean, I have been putting in song, any th any song I can think of that I know for a fact I've used, uh, like uh, Bill Withers, "Use Me Up." I've used that song a hundred times in my videos. Never had a problem. I searched for it today. Bang, blocked in 244 countries. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if it's a glitch or if YouTube just arbitrarily decided to make every artist's music in the history of life unusable with the threat of your video being blocked? I don't know. I find it hard to believe that every artist in the world simultaneously agreed to this copyright policy in a matter of 24 hours. That's hard for me to believe. I don't think that's what happened. I don't know what the fuck is happening. Uh, it's fairly new, so there's not a whole lot of people on YouTube talking about it right this second. Um, but I'm, I'm going to keep searching. If anybody happens to hear anything or see a video or Google something that you think may be of value to me in terms of what the fuck is going on here with the music policies, and I'm specifically speaking about me playing background music. Y'all know who I do. I just have a little, I add a little track, I start it off kind of high, I lower the volume, and then I let it play in the background while I'm talking. That's all I'm talking about. I'm not talking about doing a cover, or lip syncing, or or promoting anyone's music. That's never what I'm doing. I just use it as background music. I try to pick music that fits the vibe of the video that I'm currently creating. That's all it is. So... Um, for now, I'm just not going to use any music in my videos, and that to me is sad, and I'm still going to make it, I mean, I'm still going to upload videos, I'm not going to quit that, but yeah, this is, this one stings, this sucks. Um, I'm going to do a little searching tonight to find some, some safe, no copyright restricted music channels and, and download some of that music some of it that I think might sound cool like I don't even like a lot of times I use just generic not generic but movie from I mean music from soundtracks like I like to use background music from the soundtrack of Fight Club uh, and I have no idea if I can even do that anymore I really don't uh, I am really gun shy right now I'm afraid to use anything unless it specifically states in the title and in the policy that this song is 100% free of copyright restrictions. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to do, but I'm not happy. This is a new remote. I'm gonna try it and see if it works. But there's a lot going on here, y'all. I got some new kicks, man. Y'all wanna see them? I would just stick my leg up, but I don't feel like it. Anyone who knows me knows how I roll. Air Jordans. It's the only shoe I ever get. Air Jordans and Doc Martens. That's it. All of the shoes can suck it. Well, I have my dress shoes that I wear with my suits, but yeah. 
So anyhow, um, <clears throat> so that, sorry for this video being kind of a buzzkill and negative for the most part. It's just, um, I'm really, really uneasy about basically 800 of my 818 videos just evaporating into darkness because the whole video gets blocked because of this new policy. That, that that's, um, it's a little unsettling. Uh, now, I will always have the videos on my hard drive, so it's not like they'll be lost forever. Like I said, I will give y'all a tutorial on how to download videos from YouTube, and once you download a video to your hard drive or to your external drive or whatever, you've got it forever. It doesn't matter if YouTube fucking gets hit by an asteroid and all the servers evaporate and YouTube disappears. You'll have that video on your computer or wherever you choose to store it forever. So, in that sense, and, and if some people who just aren't savvy enough to or feel comfortable downloading music and they've got a video of mine that they really really want to hang on to to rewatch it or they just love it for whatever reason I will put it on a little flash drive or an SD card or burn it to a DVD for you we'll, we'll figure something out if you've got a video or a couple of mine that you really really like don't worry even if you can't download it I'll uh, I'll get it to you some kind of way I promise all right, so that's kind of all I have for now. Again, I apologize for this being so negative, but man, this is a this is a deep, hurtful, terrible policy that's that's coming down. Apparently, it's I'm just waiting. I'm waiting to get 35 emails tomorrow telling me that all these videos have been blocked because of the new policy. I just and there's nothing I can do about it, y'all. I don't have a fucking time machine, once again, so I cannot go back in time and edit the videos with music that is 100% safe or use no music at all. I can't do it. So, if that's what happens, then that's what happens. Moving forward, I will just have to... I will... I don't know what I'll do. I'll use no music or I'll use some shitty background music that, like I said, is safe to use. I don't know yet. But, anyhow... I hope y'all have a great November. I hope it's been nice so far. What is today? The 4th? November the 4th? Monday? Yeah, we had a little cold front come through. It was nice. It was high 30s there for a couple of days. Uh, we're getting back up to the high 70s, it feels like, during the week. But then this weekend, it's going to cool off again. So, that's good. The cooler weather just has me. You know, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. Not necessary because it's, it's not that cool out here. But it's nice. It's nice, and a uh, little reminder, November 12th, don't forget, is a full moon, 100% illuminated moon. So if you start feeling weird leading up to the 12th, it's probably moon related. At least I think so. Uh, oh, and in addition to that, the video that I created that I spent weeks putting together, outlining the events that took place while I was working for U.S. Customs and then there was a daycare fire in Herm Hermosillo, Mexico that killed like 49 ch children under the age of three um, and how nine of those children actually came to Sacramento uh, in my role in getting them into the U.S. with no documents and their families and then a subsequent visit a couple of months later by the First Lady of Mexico and the D Diplomatic Security Service put me in charge of her safe arrival and her security during the duration of her trip while she's in Sacramento. That video has portions of it where I use music that is no longer copyright friendly. So it got muted before I even had a chance to upload it. So I'm gonna have to redo it. I still have the raw file, so it's not. It's, it'll take me several hours to to upload a new one, but. Um, I'll, I'll probably just do it with no music. None. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so, everybody have a great what is left of your Monday, November the 4th, 2073. Just playing. 2019. Almost 2020, y'all. Can you believe it? 2020! Right around the corner, baby! Uh, so that's it. Everybody have a great Monday, and, uh, the fucking construction guys, it looks like they're still rolling. They're, they're going to work all the way through the night, I guess. Okay. Whatever. Uh, that's it. Till my next video. My next video will hopefully be a tutorial explaining to y'all exactly how to download videos from YouTube. 
in a way that makes sense and is very easy to follow. So until then, y'all know what's up. Everybody stay cool. Peace. I'm out.